Hi right, guys, we're about to um, start the filming. <laughs> Anatomy of Grey, chapter one. As soon as you hear that music, in the very beginning, you're that person. All mannerisms of yourself, all vocal abilities of yourself, out the window, you are now you are Rebecca, you are Tiny, you are Junior the whole time. I'm Mandy Ford Berry and um, I'm the director. But you guys have to believe, like create this believable world. And I think sometimes we get there and sometimes we don't. And I know it's hard, like everybody has things to do in other lives and other things to do. Um, so this, this show is going to be as good as you, as, as you guys make it. I can only do so much, Maggie. <laughs> the best Maggie this show's ever seen. Yeah, that's all I got. When, when I refer to it as the beast, or it's just the nature of the beast, um, it's referring to the, the competition aspect of, of, of this, of our art, putting our art on display as a part of a contest. And that means that you have to work harder at it because you're trying to keep going. You don't want your play to end, and so you want to keep going and keep going and keep going to the next level. But it also means that um, it's going to require us to do the same show a lot of times and go over and over and over those same scenes. I mean, we practiced from January to now on the same exact 40 minute story and that sometimes is hard for um, nine high school kids. And, and that's why I kept saying, you know, guys, it's just the nature of the beast. Where am I? You're in gray, stranger. Gray? Esther, come look at her. I don't think she's breathing. Somebody help her. Breathe, Judy. About, it's about seven o'clock right now. Is it really? Okay, so yeah. about three it's hours. What? At seven o'clock. At six fifty-five. We have another three hours. No, it, that took about three. Hours. We have. Oh no, no, no that took two hours. Two hours. Are we only running it one more time? I think so. I Maybe not. Huh? I'm gonna try, but I have a headache. One day. What are we going to do today? Going to a clinic. To do what? To practice the play. <laughs> what is this clinic gonna do for us? Yeah. Maybe nothing. Make you battle. You know, you want to elaborate on these answers a little bit? Elaborate what? Elaborate. Can you define elaborate? Oh my gosh. You know, um, I want to give us some, some longer answers. You know, then like two words. Longer? Yeah. It's gonna help us. Uh... Yeah. Come in here and sit like right here. Well, now I don't know what I'm filming. Hey guys. You don't need to be nervous. Nervous? Like what? Nervous? What? What is nervous? How do you spell nervous? See, point. This one depends on my brain. All the props are set up on the right side, so um, I think we're ready to give it our egg. Is, is this Homer Hickam? <laughs> I don't have a last name. No doubt, Mark. Just messed around every day. Yeah. Wanted to be him. You wanted to be that guy. Wanted, wanted to touch the rim. Wanted to be cool. Wanted to fit in. It begins. <laughs> hey, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a tie. I, you know, I go home. I just go straight to bed. Go straight. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know you had a home. <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm not poor. Gotcha. Be, I'm, I'm just stupid. a railroad. I'm just. I'm, you don't need to be nervous. Nervous? Like what? Nervous? What is nervous? The thing is, is that I did not get or feel or see anything different in your pr production today and in your performances. Okay, there wasn't that that special connection or that moment or that relationship that just really jumped at you. It helped us. It helped us a lot. 
she was harsh, but that that's what you need from, uh, from, from someone who critiques plays. I didn't think that you cared about each other or about what was going on, or I didn't feel anything from you. Like, get so in-depth into your character. Uh, you know, she, she wanted all of that, and whenever we went to her, we did not have that. Um, at all. One, two, three, oh, I can hear him say, I can hear the ringing of a beautiful guitar. Oh, I can hear him say, keep on dreaming even if it breaks your heart. <laughs> My voice hurts. Um, those, those three weeks were pretty bad. They were, they were pretty miserable. Um, we had a lot of people being out for various reasons, other extracurricular activities. Um, we had a lot of time, a lot of downtime. That's usually not good for a show. Once you get your momentum going, you want to keep your momentum going. And after that uh, district win, um, sometimes kids, because of um, the reward system in one act play, they feel like they've accomplished something. So they feel like we've done it, we've accomplished, it's time to stop working. And the hard part is, is that's where the work actually begins. Um, that's where you have to, to keep going and keep going further into your character and keep diving more into the script and figuring out what those people really want from, from each other. How did you cut that? You're killing How do you know which one? You didn't even look. All right, so <laughs> tell, me to, tell me what to do. Cross down, put your hand. Uh, yeah, cross down, put your hands on the floor, trust me. Okay. Oh, see, guys, you know, here you go. <laughs> you understand? Yes. If I don't know what you're about to do, I'm going to be like, what in creation are you doing to me? There you go. Oh, Lord. Idiot. Brother, I do it, right? Jesus in heaven. Get between his legs, Mark, in the back of it. No. Why are you stupid? Why are you stupid? Why are you stupid? Look. Oh, my God. Look where I am. <laughs> We're doing a little bit of characterization work here. Yeah. See what we got to do. Really getting, uh, voice, posture, walk, distinguished marks, physical description, occupation, interests, interests, beliefs. You get to make stuff up. That's fun. No, not at all. It's We're not making it up. Yeah, We're, We're telling you're, you're, the you're truth telling the truth about yourself. Yeah. No, I'm really struggling on my animal. Your animal? I was, yeah. See, mine just came to me. Like, I feel like I should be the sweet one, but I feel like I take care of the church and put it in place because that's the only thing I do. Uh, Homer's a dog. He's always trying to find love. Well, they are You know, he fo he's a follower. Dogs follow their master. I know I had a dog name. That you don't have real relationships in real life, and I'm not asking you to be best friends, but I'm asking you to be a family for the moment. Whenever you're in the play, you got to become a family, which is what we did. And, uh, and that definitely helped us a lot. So everybody, you know, relationship group, there wasn't a single person in the play that, that my relationship with them got worse at all. It was always perfect. And look out, look out for each other for the moment. And um, at least until this deal is over. And I know we're tired of it. I'm so sick of this play, I can throw up. But it's the nature of the beast. The most challenging thing this year was getting high school kids to form real, live, believable relationships on stage. Um, I have kids that are really good at comedy, and I have kids that are really good at acting independently, but sometimes creating a relationship with a, a real life person um, is more difficult than it looks. Every newborn looks like a Constipated Eskimo to me. You take her. Rebecca. Kaylin, I'm Mart. You know that as well as I do. Becky. I want you to take her and June and leave. You want me to take both of your children? Cross the river and never look back. No, man. What good could you stay here possibly do? You don't know the cause. You don't know the cure. You don't know anything. For the first time in my life, I know I'm a doctor. And I reckon a blind man can see my feelings for you. We changed practice, our practice scene. A lot. We, uh, I gave Mandy the idea a while back to maybe like play 
different characters. So, if, for instance, I played Homer, and then Homer could play me, and then you, you could see how people would play your character different, and maybe see things that you know you didn't do. I'm a tree with swinging. And this is the clothesline. It ain't even on the dirt corner. Ma'am, what are your specials for this evening? If I had a wife, or a sister, or a girlfriend, or something, I sure <laughs> as heck wouldn't let them go near them. We did that, we tried that. We did, uh, we did like a little sheet where we kind of wrote everything about our character and just went more in depth with everything. Uh, we changed, I don't know, there's a lot of, like my mental state at that time was like, you know, I gotta get focused. You gotta make sure everybody's ready to tackle this thing. And I felt like we did a really good job. I felt like we were really well prepared. You know, there's always room for improvement, but I felt like it was really good. Feeling look good. Real I'm not feeling nervous. I think we need to be focused, but we also need to relax today. You know, so we're not, not on our nerves like all That's probably why we're going to the park. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go back. This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can't hold us. Like the ceiling can't hold us. I think we did good, man. We, we got we so definitely we, got some competition. Okay, you know, we, like, you just we got Yates, we got Seals, but they definitely did some good school. They did some good plays. But uh, we just gonna have to go out there and see, you know, like we all played, you know, we all did good. We got this. That's all that really matters. That was the best performance we've ever done as far as like energy. In 11 years of this, and this is now my 16th show that I've directed, um, I've really never seen a group of kids become as close. And so to me, this will be more of an emotional year than a funny year. I mean, there were some funny things that happened. And one of, one of the stories that sticks out in my mind is the very first read through when Park Wilson realized that he got to put his mouth on Taylor Thompson's <laughs> mouth. And he just looked at me and he said, man, this is just gonna suck. And so that's one of the stories that will stick out in my mind. Um, and just the funny things that happened in rehearsal, um, costume <laughs> things, you know, we had uh, people standing on people's skirts and they, when they rise from the ground, they're skirtless. Uh, and, and on to what actually happens in the play when, you know, someone actually has to pull their pants down and, and, and it, it becomes funny. And so I think that, you know, there'll be a lot of stories, but for, for the most part for me this year will be um, talking about using this year as an example on how kids who really don't necessarily hang out together and don't necessarily have a lot in common with each other, um, that they all became very close and united. Hey, so uh, the play's going on right now, and this is like, J. Michael has no clue that I'm filming right now. So, uh, hey J. Michael. Uh, I love you, pal. You know, you're a real good guy, Bob. You're a real good guy. I guess to my seniors, uh, you know, some some have just come into the picture, some have been with me for a while, uh, but I appreciate, you know, the, the dedication to the program that I have, and, and I hope that from this that you take something along with you into the future. Um, I know that one of my greatest experiences as, as, as a young adult was being part of theater and being part of a play, and um, I get calls all the time from from people who have graduated saying, you know, I played sports or I did this in high school, but really the best experience for me was, was being in a play. And um, I'm going to miss this group of seniors. There's there's really no other description 
um, than, than, than crazy and obnoxious and chaotic, but that's the exact three words that I would describe the way I want my life to be. So, that's it. My answer is just going to be. Alright, so, Ms. Ternes, Ms. Fort Berry, Mandy, Ms. T. Uh, I didn't have any more fresh so, uh, that's just, uh, um, other than that, it's been three amazing years. Two great years of acting. Uh, you know, I got to thank you in part for getting me into acting. Um, I also got to thank you for pretty much helping me pass English. Without, without you, I, I would probably have, uh, would have had to take summer school. You know, that that would have sucked. But um, you know, one thing I'm gonna miss about high school is you know, one act and, and you and you know, park. You know, if I could, I probably would stay another year, uh, but, uh, you know, I can't. So, uh, I just want to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. It's been a blast. Well, uh, it's been a crazy three years, for sure. I'm not, I'm not leaving this year, thankfully. I've got one more year with you. Oh, well, hopefully. But, one. but, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking back to freshman year. I was in the theater arts class. I was a prepubescent, probably five five kid. <laughs> Somehow skinnier than I am right now. And uh, and you convinced me to be Romeo. Thus, an actor was born. And uh, up until this year, you nearly died of stress because of my horrible grades. Luckily, this year it's not. It wasn't that way. And uh, I don't know, I, I, I definitely don't think I would be who I am today without you. I don't think I'd be an actor. I don't, think, I don't know what I'd do. Uh, so, you know, oftentimes we don't, we don't remind you or thank you for of how much you've done for us, uh, all of us. So thank you. you know, definitely my favorite teacher, one of my favorite people. And, uh, you know, I know me and J. Michael gave you hell this year. That's just because we love you. So thank you. Yeah, uh, just one more thing. Like, I know, you know, me and Park always probably get on your nerves. You know, I do apologize about that, but, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're going to miss it. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I said this. I just want to thank you for, for everything you've done. You know, not just one act, not just being a teacher but just for being a friend. Yeah, a lot. What's your name? Hey, Pat. Hey. Hey, Pat? Hey, I hey. seen you in a bit, buddy. Hey, hey. Jim Smart. Uh, Jim Smart. <laughs> Who would have known? I'm ready. And there's nobody out here. <laughs>